Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and today I'm here with a little bit of happy mail. Now it's happy mail I was aware that I was going to be receiving, um, it's from my friend Paula Keen in the Netherlands and Jank, um, who's also in the Netherlands. Um, I always mix up how to say Paula's name, it's P-A-U-L-L-A, -L -L Paula Keen or Paula Keen. Paula, maybe one day you can leave me a little voice message just to let me know how to pronounce that because I am horrible at pronouncing names. Yank, however, I know because Paula's already let me know how to do it. Now, um, a little while ago, I actually had a fall and I cracked a couple of ribs and I injured my wrist. You may remember that. Well, that week, Paula said that she wanted to start making a little get well gift for me to send to me. However, a few days after I fell, she fell. Paula's left-handed and she broke her left wrist. So, being the warrior that Paula is, she went ahead and finished this with her right hand. So she has said to me, um, be aware that I did this with my right hand. Paula, whatever you've done is an absolute treasure. So we're going to see what it is. She just said it's a little something just to let me know that she's thinking of me and I thought, how wonderful. So just going in with the blade, being ultra careful because goodness knows I do not need any more accidents in my life. There's no time. <laughs> There's no time for accidents with the filming schedule I have. Right. Sharp knife. Put it away, Griffiths, before you drop it on your foot and stab yourself. Right. I don't know whether there's a letter or something in here. So, OK, I'm going to keep that that way up. Right. That can always be recycled like a nice bit of Amazon packaging. Right. Absolutely. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing on view here. Love that. I may well be putting that into my art journal. That could be a background. Love this. Anyone who knows me knows I absolutely adore dragonflies. They're hugely significant to me in my life. Oh, and it looks like she's carried that theme through. Right now, I don't know. Wait, it's a little message. Let me just have a quick look. Okay, little message here. This is from Yank. I didn't know Yank's last name was Delman. Um, thank you very much, Yank. Thank you so much for your gifts as well as Paula's. So um, let's do this one first. Okay, so just a little paper clip over the top paper clip. Love that. Love a nice tassel. Love a bowl pin. So that will be adding itself to something else in the future. And always like a glassy envelope. So just a few little treasures, apparently. Everything is welcome. Okay, Dutch stamps, they are Dutch stamps. I don't think I've got Dutch stamps. I use postage stamps a lot. And I don't know that I've got blue ones. I like that green one. Can you see these? Sorry, I'm holding them down so I can see them. I keep forgetting you need to see them as well. Oh, that's cute. I like that. That looks like watercolor paper with a fussy cut butterfly stuck onto a painted background. That's gorgeous. A cow, who doesn't like a cow? Cute. More, more stamps. Oh, we've got more cows. Scottish Highland cow. That's what I would call it anyway. And I love the way that you put it onto a bit of craft card and you put use book page and everything. It's like a really mini little um, artist trading card. I don't have many cow things. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I think it's going to be... I'm to make sure I, I store that. I might have to stick that down immediately because that little... The blade of the windmill is going to be coming off unless I'm very careful. More stamps, they look like Christmas stamps. That's cute, what is that? Oh, is that Godwit? A Godwit, Dutch national bird. I didn't know you had a national bird. Okay, I'll be putting that in my journal, I think. Okay, loving that. And then I'm assuming this is Dutch dictionary. I don't have anything in Dutch. Oh, fabulous. I shall add that to my my pile of papers to be collaging and working in journals. Actually, that could fit into a journal, couldn't it? OK, bear that in mind for later. So thank you very much, Yank. That is absolutely fabulous. Love that. That will get added to myself. I can leave this one to last because I'm feeling that's absolutely gorgeous. Well, everything's absolutely gorgeous. Right, OK, these are stuck together. Are they supposed to be? I think it's probably Texture Pace that's done that. Loving that. Paula is such a talented artist. And what I'm going to do, actually, um, 
I do have a link for Yank Delman's YouTube channel, I believe, and I'll put that in the description box, but be aware the channel is in Dutch. Loving this little a little dragonfly with a little bead. Loving that. So bookmark, loving that. That might go into my journal. Um, what's this? Okay, this is a little foldy flappy thing. Oh wait, I need to have a quick read of this. Okay, the inside here is just explaining exactly what I just said to you that um, Paula took a fall, she's broken her left wrist. Um, I think by now, because it's been a little while, because I'm fully healed, which means it's got to be at least eight weeks. And I'm assuming that Paula's fully healed as well. So lovely, loving the dragonfly. I think it was this texture paste that gripped to the back of this. And I find that with texture paste, sometimes it does. And then this little journal is absolutely delightful. Love it. I look a little, it's, oh, it's a button. I thought it was a, a, a button, a, a, like a badge button. Loving that. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that one. I don't have many with them in that shape. So I think that's gold stamped. And then it looks like it's been enhanced with a gel pen, possibly. Or maybe it's been stamped and then painted over the top with a gold lace. I don't know. That's very lovely. I like this edging too. My sewing machine doesn't do that. Oh, this is gorgeous. Swatch me. Okay. What's in here? Little bits of watercolour paper, I'm assuming. Dragonfly. You really went to town on the dragonfly thing. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. This is lovely. I'm... I'm liking the the flips, the flaps, and the flops of this one. I may have to recreate this. I'm liking this a lot. There's little bits everywhere. Ooh, this might actually go on my travels with me. This is just slim enough that this could fit into my planner and be no weight whatsoever. Okay, that's a little tablet, I'm thinking. Oh, that's damn cute. Sorry for swearing, but that's cute. I'm sure that's stamped and then it's been brushed over or drawn over in gold. Very clever though. Um, as far as Paola goes, oh, what I'm going to do is, Paola is also one of the designers for PM Artist Studio in America. So what I'm going to do is, Paola doesn't really do social media. She doesn't have a YouTube channel or anything like that. So what I'm going to say is, pop across to um, PM Artist Studio and I'll put a link to her designs in, in the description box. And she also has a range of um, stencils and masks with them as well. So pop across, show some love. The only place that Paola actually does do social media and share her makes is in um, a Facebook group called the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Group, which is the one that's run and um, moderated by PM Artist Studio. I'm part of that group as well. Um, actually, I'll put a link to that in the description box as well because you can go across that. I think you've either got to answer, it might be three questions to get into it, but it's a wonderful, supportive group of artists and I absolutely love being there, a part of it. And they're not just paper crafts, there's fabrics, there's glasses, ceramic. there's lots and lots of different stuff. Pop over and see them and sign up. And that's where you'll see Paola's makes. And she's very, very clever, is this lady. So thank you very much, guys. That was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful bit of happy mail. I am so, I love these. These are all exquisite. And yes, I think that will slot into my, my daily planner for when I'm traveling, because that's a cute little thing to have. I really like that, that's beautiful. Um, I think some of these things are also going to go into my journal and I might put this because this looks about the right size page. I might put it into my art journal. Let's have a little look. So this is my 2023 art journal I'm working on at the moment. Just open a page. I've got a feeling. There you go. If I stick that into there and then I can work on it myself. I think that's where that's gonna go. I really do. I'm looking forward to doing that. 
Okay, so thank you very much, ladies. It was absolutely, is there a fly flying around here? I've just seen something black fly past my eye. I do hope it's not invaded my video. That would be very unfortunate. Okay, guys, um, thank you very much, ladies. That was an absolute treasure to receive that. Such a pleasure and a privilege to have a little bit of um, art made with love and shared with me. And the sentiment of a get well is right back at you, Paola. I hope you're fully healed now, as I am. And let's, fingers crossed, let's not have any more falls, shall we? So until next time, I'm Kerry the Crafter, that's C-E-R-I, The Crafter, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye now.